Speak Now Taylor's version is coming next and shortly after, if not at the same time, 1989 is gonna drop. Here's my theory. Hello everybody, it's Clown O'Clock here over at my channel. I was like working on my script for my anti-hero Easter egg video and doing all the research and then Bejeweled dropped and I watched that and I was like, Speak Now is coming. I need to make a video about that first. So here we are. So let's break down all the reasons why I think Speak Now is coming next. With the obvious in the anti-hero music video, we saw Taylor playing the same guitar that she was playing during the Speak Now tour. But where the real messaging and hinting comes in is in more recent messaging and in the Bejeweled music video. So on Instagram, she shared this post where she says this sparkling evening, does that sound familiar? <laughs> of course, because it's a reference to Enchanted, this night is sparkling. A fan favorite that was never a single, but it should have been a single. Now let's look at the clues in the video for Bejeweled. First of all, the video was dropped today on the 25th of October, which is the 12th anniversary for the Speak Now album. It's a scene where the stepmother says speak not, which I will not be told is not a reference to Speak Now. Speak not, tired tacky wen. This was intentional. Not to mention in the background of the scene, Enchanted is playing, but the biggest clue that Speak Now is coming next is on the elevator floor counter system. I don't know what this artifact is called. <laughs> so if we take a close look at it, there are obviously 13 floors, Taylor's favorite number. But if you look at the colors, each color is representing a different Taylor Swift album in the order that they were released. So we have the self-titled, Fearless, Speak Now, Red, 1989, Reputation, Lover, Folklore, Evermore, then Fearless again, then Red again, then Midnight. And on the 13th, we have the color purple, which we all know is the color of Speak Now. If this doesn't mean that Speak Now is coming next, now this imagery is just ruined. I mean, the music video even ends with her replicating this scene from her Speak Now tour. And as the cameras pan out, we see dragons, which could be a reference to the lyric, I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you from the song Long Live, which is the closing song on Speak Now. And then the credits roll and Long Live starts playing. There are of course many other things we could clown about for this. Like when she shared this post on Instagram about the girl in red and said, drop everything now. And people thought she was going to be releasing Speak Now, but then she released Red. Well, this could have been a sign that Red was coming and then Speak Now was coming next. Or when Red came out and she wrote, Red is about to be mine again, but it has always been ours. Obviously in reference to her songs, mine and ours, both off of Speak Now. And she wore these Prada shoes from a 2010 collection, which people thought was a hint that Speak Now was coming next because Speak Now was originally released in 2010. Of course, we know that we had a lot of clues in the past for other albums that seemed legit and then they weren't, or were they? And this is where my second theory comes in that 1989 is going to be coming shortly after Speak Now, if not at the same time. I mean, we had a lot of clues that 1989 was coming soon and in Bejeweled, we actually have a huge clue that it's gonna be dropping around the same time as Speak Now. So just to quickly go over some of the 1989 clues that we had, she had that interview with Stephen Colbert where she put a picture of him from 1989. She did an interview with Jimmy Fallon where she made a reference to a rabbit hole, which is of course a reference to Alice in Wonderland, which is of course a reference to her song Wonderland from 1989. A lot of people also drew parallels between Alice in Wonderland and the book cover in All Too well. Another thing that reminded me of Alice in Wonderland that I didn't see a lot of people talking about was the anti-hero music video with Taylor being blown out of proportion and drinking from the little bottle. For me, that's just screaming Alice in Wonderland. Anyway, also in All Too Well, there was this 1989 Mercedes being driven. But the main reason that I think she's dropping 1989 right after Speak Now, if not at the same time, is again, because of this elevator thing. Because in the music video, the first stop that she gets off at on the elevator is number five, which is 1989. Not to mention when she gets out, her whole outfit is screaming wildest dreams. And I mean, earlier in the year, she dropped merch for both 1989 and Speak Now at the same time. So I think I'm kind of coming onto something here. Obviously, there are so many other Easter eggs in Antihero and Bejeweled referencing her other albums. And I will be making videos about those. So if you're interested in that, make sure to stick around. But the real reason that I think that Speak Now is gonna come soon and shortly after 1989 is gonna come is really because this elevator thing. I mean, I'm gonna be massively disappointed if Speak Now doesn't come next and she ruins this whole elevator concept that it, it, their albums are shown in the order that they were released. <laughs> Or maybe we get another album with a purple theme, but seems unlikely. And that's all for this clown show today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in some of my other ones. Bye.